Okay. So now it's uh April fourth, twenty twenty two. Seven fifteen in the morning. I'm sitting here and I'm listening to Latrice Allen and her drama. As I'm thinking about my drama, as I'm being pressured to clear out parts of the basement to accommodate my son's girlfriend. And it kind of goes back to that, well, just chuck it. And I'm like, so anyway, I'm sitting here and I'm listening, right? And like, I'm trying to explain to my kids, like, you know, you, you, like Tisha, Tisha started a business. They want me to get rid of stuff because, you know, I have to move sooner or later. Or just whatever to accommodate, right? Otherwise, my son will move out. And then I'd have to get a lone male that basically would want to be left alone to pay rent as a tenant. And I wouldn't have to disturb too much. Whereas if my son's girlfriend moves in because they want to save money, versus paying more money and staying, you know how inflation is pushing people deeper into poverty, into a rut, right? Staying here is more of a cost saving to, to them, but I'm expected to get rid of stuff. And I try and tell my kids that I'm on the same page with them. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to be hasty and just throw out a thousand video cassettes. I don't think I have a thousand but those things can add up pretty fast, and I've got a lot, okay? And it's not something that I really want to do, because when I leave, it would be nice to have like a rumpus room or a family room or some kind of room like that where you had your videos with your TV and your VCR, because you don't always want to rely on the internet and continuously pay for these things when you already have it on a cassette deck. And my kids, they just... I, I tell my son, well, help me put them up online. At least this way, you get some money. So what does he do? Mm -hmm. And he goes and he grabs two cassettes. Jaws was one of them. Like the shark, the movie. And it was something else. And he Googled them, and, and I think Jaws came up at $8 to sell it on eBay. And the other one came up on $15. And I said, there you go. You took out two videos from the whole stack. You know? So help me sell them. If, if that's what you want. Well, and I said, we'll get a storage room. Oh, I don't, I'm not paying for a storage room. I said, well, you're not paying for a storage room. You're paying your rent, right? If what I do with the rent is my business, and if I want to go get a storage room, right? This is the point of this video, okay? I'm questioning my, my parenthood here <clears throat> in terms of if my kids were little and they couldn't make a choice and tell me what to do, being that that's what they think they can do these days, mm -hmm. I would, because I've already determined, well, if you want me to do this, then allow me to do this so that I can do a sweep because that's what it needs. If you're if you're expecting me to clear out the basement, well, not the basement, but part of the basement, right? In terms of the videos, the books, the games, 
the musical instruments depending on the instrument because I've got bongo drums down there I've got the big bass drum down there right I've got the piano Shime, Auntie Shimei's piano he told me to get rid of the Auntie Shimei's piano I said no I, I like it I don't necessarily like the keys because they're chipped but I like the sound of the piano people and if that thing gets tuned oh my god so, I already know where to move the piano, but the fabric rack that I have on there, in there, down there, I have a fat, oh, I have this beautiful fabric rack, people. Oh my God. Sometimes I miss it, okay? Like the good old days, hey? And you see, this is what my kids forget. Mom has experience, right? In terms of, uh, just experience period right so I can pull out the fabric rack no prob right and I can set it up in his walk-in storage room at first I was thinking to get a small one but I think I'm gonna get a bigger one and as I'm thinking you know and I'm listening to Lutrice Allen right I'm I'm remembering her older videos from back in the day when she used to take her kids to the storage room to because she was selling um, you know women's accessories and that kind of stuff right and her kids were small and you know they right I can relate to that people because I kinda did it in my own way back in the day when my kids were young right and I'm like you know I'm trying to explain to my kids that like my son, you know, the business room. We don't need a business room, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, yeah, we do. Because to expect me just to give everything away so I can be pushed harder to give more away because it will never be enough, right? Because it's, it's right? Versus allowing me time to figure out a way to sell it with help because I can't do it by myself. <laughs> right? I'm not superhuman, but, you know, it wouldn't take much for somebody to sit there and take, you know, pictures of videos and then at some point in the future list them online and take a chance. Y you know what I'm saying? Same thing with fabric. Same thing with craft materials. Same thing with toys for crying out loud. Right? Because I... I right? People... The ones that cast the stones, right, in terms of the UUU crap, they never dug into their pockets and spent thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for material just to be able to go out into the community and do anything for the community back in the good old days. Okay? They don't even have good old days because they never fucking did it. I did it, and I'm sitting on it. Because I was never able to break free from the yard, people. <laughs> Basically, to be able to go back out into the community and do things with the kids. And the families. And just whoever was wandering around on that day. So I have a lot of craft material. I have more musical instruments in this house than you can count. Do I sell them or do I keep them? And if I keep them, why am I keeping them? I would keep them for the same reasons that I keep them now. Not only do I keep them for my own kids and my own grandkids, but if and when I should ever go out into the freaking community, I can grab five bags full and go out there and do something. For all those naysayers, the ones that throw the stones, you have too much shit, get rid of your shit. You know, they never, they never even fathomed the idea of going out into the community and sitting down with a crowd and doing something for fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. I've done it already, people. So what happens, though, is, you know, I'm getting older. I'm in a vulnerable position. Speaking of that, uh, Tisha, 
was going to come today, she's coming today, and we were going to attempt the lights and to cut her story short, she ended up convincing me, phoning this electrician that's on higher online, and he's going to come and put, I don't know, some bright light in the kitchen that has three three settings, really bright, bright, and then low light, which sounds interesting. And it's four feet by two feet, so that's more than enough room up there. And just going without the dark, you need that kind of light in there. Otherwise, you know, you have to put something similar to what's up there because it, the, the, it's so anyway, that's getting done. And perhaps this might get changed. So that's that's a little good news, right? I have to pay for it. And then I'll talk to my landlady and see how much she wants to pay. Probably half because she was willing to pay she was willing to pay one fifty anyway and it never happened. So I ended up giving it back to her in fifty dollar installments. So now it's even Steven. So if we pay out three hundred, three fifty for what needs to be done right now upstairs right I'm pretty sure she'll kick in the other 150 and just and then from there downstairs ballast or uh, fluorescent lights have to be changed because they're humming and they're shaking and this guy said that you really can't replace the ballast ballasters so much anymore because they're just not available they're obsolete so okay what was I saying oh yeah I don't want to keep this short because I have to just take the bull by the horns here, right? Like it's like a it's like a butting head with my son. If he doesn't get what he wants, he's moving out. And I told him, you're not gonna muscle me into something that you know, right? But in the meantime, if you want me to do something and I'm willing to do it and we're on the same page, I just don't know how to do it and I'm being honest about it, but I'm also not gonna be hasty and waste not, want not. And being that, you know, Tisha wants to start a business and has started a business, being that I've got a non-profit hanging on a fucking thread here. Like, seriously, man, you don't know. I haven't even dealt with this shit yet. Okay? I'm so disgusted with it all. That, uh, the most fastest and easiest and effective way of dealing with this problem that I have is to rent a storage room because I'm the adult here, right? I'm the mother. It's my belongings. It's not like I don't know what I'm doing. And whatever is proficient in terms of moving things along without being sloppy about it, right? So when you get yourself. A, what a 12 foot by 12 foot freaking storage room for a hundred bucks or whatever it is and then you'd start taking things out and this that rack that beautiful rack that I have clear it out move it set it up get into my bins this is spandex this is velour this is cotton oh I'm looking so fucking forward to it people you don't know and this is what I try and explain to my kids like I need that business room if you expect me to give my shit away or just throw it away or toss it away or you know or whatever and you don't want to help me yet right and then to hell with it fucking move out right maybe i'll still get a storage storage room with or without you mm -hmm. because it's just a matter of time before i move from this house people and i don't need to be reminded of that what i need is to is to have help with that process where it's uh <sighs> I don't know. Fluent. It's just it's 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 a fluent process. I tried to explain to my son what you're asking for it has to happen like and then from there it will right otherwise if you're asking me to take out this just a little bit of that and take out some of that and take out some of that where am I taking it to people? Oh, well, we can take it to Valley Village, all those cassette decks. Yeah, okay. I don't think so. 
but I could take them to a storage bin and sort them out. I have a lot of doubles, especially with the children's movies. Yeah. And then maybe, I don't know. It depends. Nobody wants to help me to log these things. They just expect me to throw it out. And then once I have nothing, then they will beat me up for having nothing. Uh huh. They'll call me trash because I have nothing. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm determined with I'm, I my my worth is determined about with what I have. I mean, all you have to do is look at Sierra with nothing and how she was treated. So why would that be any more different than me if I come with nothing? So I'm like listening and I'm like, well, it might have to go back to those good old days. I had storage rooms, people. When I used to do park events and shit, I had, that's why my kids are reluctant for me to get a storage room. Because I had canopies, tables, all kinds of stuff, coffee, coffee freaking makers, just all kinds of stuff, right? All the kids freaking whatever, right? You don't know. I had it all. Used to pay a hundred dollars a month, eighty dollars a month for storage when I lived at Gateway Place. I was doing lots of stuff back in those days, and it followed me, and it followed me here, and then it's just been kind of sitting. So yeah, I can take all the craft bins, all of them, all of them, even the ones in the, the, the X Kids Club. I take out all those bins, take them to the Take him, take him to the storage room, and you and you don't, you're not storing, you're sorting. That's what makes me think of Latrice, right? You're using it more as sorting, organizing your life, getting organized, being proficient, right? It's not storing things; it's sorting out things and categorizing them and putting them online and you know just being practical just being practical and then this way I can clear out the basement within two days three days it happened that fast it would happen so fast it would make their heads spin uh -huh. and then it would start the process of my vacation so I guess we'll see what happens <laughs>